Welcome to the GED Testing Service Overview of the Texas Instruments TI-30XS Multi-View On-Screen Scientific Calculator. Both the 2002 series and 2014 GED tests on computer make use of this calculator, which is built into the testing software you will be using when you take the GED test. This training module summarizes the functions and tools available to you on the on-screen calculator and in the computer-based testing environment. For the 2002 series GED test, the on-screen calculator will be available for part one of the mathematics test. You will likely not need all of the functionality demonstrated in this module, but becoming familiar with the calculator can help increase your confidence and comfort level before you take the test. For the 2014 GED test, the on-screen calculator will be available for most items in the 2014 Mathematical Reasoning Test, and also for some of the items on the 2014 Science and 2014 Social Studies tests. Let's get started. When you are taking the GED Mathematics Test on the computer, in order to use the calculator, click the Calculator button in the top left corner of the screen. The calculator will open in a separate window. To move the calculator, place the cursor in the top bar of the calculator, then click and drag the cursor to move the calculator around on the screen. Click the Enter button to complete calculations. The second button accesses the function shown above some of the calculator buttons such as percent, square root, and mixed number. The arrow buttons, located at center right, can be used to move the cursor on the screen and when entering calculations. Buttons for the four basic arithmetic functions, add, subtract, multiply, and divide, are found on the right-hand side of the calculator. To enter a negative number, click the negative sign, then the number. Note that the negative sign is a separate key from the subtraction arithmetic function key. To enter a percent, click the percentage number, then click second, then click the percent button. After each calculation, click the clear button to clear the display. The x squared button squares any number. For other powers, use the Exponent button. First, enter the base number, then click the Exponent button. Next, enter the Exponent number, then click Enter. Click Clear when done. To find the square root of a number, first click Second, then the square root button, then the number, then enter. The answer will be displayed as a whole number or a simplified square root. Click Clear when done. To calculate other roots, first enter the numerical root, then the second and nth root buttons, Then enter the number under the root sign, then click Enter. The answer will be displayed as a whole number or a decimal. Click Clear when done. To perform calculations with numbers expressed in scientific notation, first enter the base number. Next, click the Scientific Notation key, followed by the exponent. Next, click the right arrow button, followed by the Operation button. Enter the next number in Scientific Notation, then click Enter. The answer will be displayed as a whole number 
or a decimal. Click Clear when done. There are separate buttons for entering fractions and mixed numbers. To enter a fraction, click the Fraction button, then enter the numerator. Next, click the down arrow button to enter a number in the denominator. To calculate with the fraction, click the right arrow button, followed by an operation button, and other numbers. And then click Enter. Click Clear when done. To enter a mixed number, first enter the whole number part of the mixed number, followed by the second and mixed number buttons. Next, enter the numerator, then click the down arrow button to enter a number in the denominator. Clicking Enter at this point will result in the mixed number being converted to an improper fraction. Now we'll clear the screen and demonstrate calculating with mixed numbers. Enter the first number. Next, click the right arrow button. Then click the appropriate operation button and enter the other numbers needed to solve the problem. Click Enter for the result. During the test, you can refer to the calculator reference sheet to refresh your knowledge on any of the calculator functions we have just discussed. To open the calculator reference sheet, click the calculator reference button in the top corner. Click the X to close. In addition, a formula sheet is available to you on some questions. To open the formula sheet, click the Formulas button in the top left corner. Click the X to close. To view the formula sheets and calculator reference sheets for the 2002 and 2014 GED tests, visit our website at www.gedtestingservice.com slash educators slash Resources hyphen educators. This concludes the introduction to the TI-30XS MultiView on-screen scientific calculator. For additional resources supporting the use of this calculator on the GED test, visit our website at www.gedtestingservice.com slash testers slash calculator. For additional tutorials from Texas Instruments, visit www.atomiclearning.com slash TI30XS. Thank you for viewing this training module, and best wishes from GED Testing Service as you prepare for success on the GED test. Click the Close button below to close this module.